Hello everybody, welcome to the table. So today we are doing quite an update because this knife I made a video on in the past and so this right here is the Kershaw that technically should not exist. But Kershaw, today January 15th, 2024, just dropped all of their new releases for this part of the year and lo and behold this knife appeared on their list. So this knife is actually going to be called the Kershaw Sanctum. And there are definite differences between the knife they're releasing and the knife that I have in my hands right here, but the overall design is the same. So how did this happen? And let's take a close look at the differences between these knives, because of course I don't have one yet, they literally just dropped today. But this knife in hand has actually been a pretty decent knife overall. It carries very easily, the action is great, and there's really no negatives to this knife right here, but it's been available on, you know, gray market sites like AliExpress, um, even eBay for at least a couple of months now. So how did the Chinese beat Kershaw to the market with their own knife? Um, but of course, let's real quick look at the differences between the knives. Now, taking a look at the blade right here, the actual blade on the Sanctum is identical, with one difference, of course, because the, the actual legit Kershaw knife is going to have a black wash finish, whereas this one just has a plain stone wash. Um, another difference, of course, check out the model number on this one. This is listed as the 1415, which of course is not a real number. Uh, the actual Sanctum is going to be the 1815, so they literally just changed one digit on the model and went with it. So that's kind of weird. Uh, but other than that, the blade is an exceptional Warncliffe style blade. Action is excellent. Um, but two other differences that we might see on the uh, legit Kershaw from this one right here. Take a look at the pivot on this knife. So the pivot on this version of the blade is a plain Jane. It's a black pivot. It works, has a Torx bit right there, but the one on the legit Kershaw Sanctum does look a little more decorative. It has some angles on it, and so there's a definite difference there. So that's something that probably cost a couple of more bucks to make, and so they chose to omit it on this version of the knife right here. Not a big deal, but something that I noticed just from the photos. And um, another thing from the photos, we can definitely tell that our red backspacer right here is now going to be a black backspacer. So it's a little bit more subdued. In fact, the whole knife is more subdued because it still has like a grayish handle, a black backspacer, the black wash blade. So the whole knife overall is a lot darker in appearance than this one is. Um, so there is, of course, that big visual difference there. Uh, but in terms of functional differences, you'll notice that the flipper tab on this version here is a smooth flipper tab. And the, the, the original or the legit version is going to have some jimping, at least from the photos, I could see some jimping on the flipper tab, which is always a nice thing to have. Now the flipper on this one, is not a bad flipper at all. The action is actually quite nice. So that's a good thing. Um, the intangible things that we really can't tell are going to change or not is going to be the blade steel. Blade steel on this one, unknown. We'll never really know what they use to make this. Um, but the legit Kershaw Sanctum is going to be an 8CR13 MOV. And so the legit version is going to come in, like I think, between $30, $40 at retail. And this one, um, if you go to AliExpress, you can get it probably for less than $20. Bucks. So it's going to be about half the price. And so that's kind of an issue there, too, because, of course, this is what happens when you outsource your knives overseas. You know, you don't own the factory. You don't employ the employees working the factory. So I'm sure this Chinese company, they did a great job doing a run of Kershaw uh, Sanctums for Kershaw. And then of course, they already have the pattern, they have the materials, they cranked out a few of these extra runs of this knife right here, the Kershaw 1415, and they decided to release them to, you know, places like AliExpress, your, your so-called gray market, um, where it's not a black market because they're not stolen items, but they are um, nonetheless, quite illegitimate copies of what they should be. And that's what really baffled me on my original video of this knife, because I didn't know what to call it. There was no model name, um, there was no record of this knife ever having existed yet, and of course the reason for that now we know is that Kershaw simply had not released the design to the public yet. Um, but they had these things in Chinese factories many months ago being produced. And I think that's really the only downside to when Kershaw does these once or twice yearly releases. It really just means that we don't see the knives, but the knives are being produced, they're being made, they're in China all over the place. 
So I think in the future, if we do start to see Kershaw knives or even other companies, it's not just Kershaw, places like CRKT, same thing. If we see their knives pop up and their new designs, they're probably legitimate, but they probably just haven't been released through legitimate channels yet. Um, so that being said, this is not a Kershaw Sanctum. This is a copy, now what we know of the Kershaw Sanctum. Um, the action, though, is excellent. It's actually quite a nice steel frame lock design. The original specs on this knife have it listed at 3.7 ounces, and I think this one comes in a little heavier than that. So whether or not the original will be the same is, is going to be remain to be seen. But yeah, 3.8 ounces, so slightly heavier. Um, is there really a big difference there? No, not at all. But size-wise, you know, about a three-inch blade, a little over seven inches in overall length. So not bad at all in terms of size. Very friendly, easy, EDC friendly, I should say, knife. Um, there's really no problem with the build quality. It feels really good in hand, great jimping. And that's just something I've noticed over carrying it for the past couple of weeks. And it, it kind of answers the question from my prior video, you know, what is this knife? And now I guess the uh, mystery is solved. So this is going to be the Kershaw Sanctum. Please go buy one from Kershaw. Do not buy these off of eBay like I did. Do not buy them off of AliExpress because now we know for sure it's uh, an illegitimate clone knife. Um, so that's really all I have to say about that. But I just thought it was hilarious watching their new reveal. And I, I saw the profile of the knife. I'm like, hey, that looks, that looks familiar. And this is the reason why. So again, just the downside of buying from, of uh, having your stuff made in China, you don't control what happens to your design after they do your run. So hopefully this was enlightening to all of you guys. Uh, go ahead and watch the other video where I talked about that knife as well, or this knife as well. And I hope you all have a knife day. See you later. Bye-bye.